All right, we're backstage at the Warp Tour. It is Broadside. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Ollie, and I sing in the band. And I'm Andrew. I play the drums. Where are you guys based at? So we're originally from Richmond, Virginia, but we have moved more recently. I currently live in Los Angeles, and Andrew here lives in right here, San Diego. Wow. Yep. Cali boys. Man. Yeah, sir. <laughs> absolutely. Yes, That's sir. what's great about California is, you know, a lot of people are not from here, but there's great reasons to be based here. Oh, know? yeah. I, it's probably the best move I've ever made in my life, honestly. <laughs> no doubt about it. You, get out, you go out there and play anywhere in the world, but to come back, the creative energy in Southern California is oh, enormous. I cannot <laughs> wait. I've been thinking about it literally all summer. Like, as much as I love this, I can't wait home to go home and really like channel in all the energy that I picked up. Yeah, so. yeah. Now, why'd you choose San Diego as of LA? Uh, well, slower gear. Or? I actually, yeah, a little bit slower. <laughs> kind of the beach vibe I like. Okay. Uh, and not to mention my wife got a, a couple job. Couple hours away. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I used to drive a couple hours, and so yeah, I love yeah. it. Now, I always looked at San Diego as almost kind of like a retirement spot, you know? I dig you it. want to come down here and <laughs> yeah. when you want to put your feet up cool. and, yeah. and, and I'm ready look to at retire. the sand all day. Hell yeah, I'm ready to retire. So, now give us an idea how the band came together, what the common ground was, you know, how, how musically you guys formed. We're a bunch of guys that knew that we honestly didn't have any other uh, Harvard skills other than creative passion. We all grew up with the same genre of music, and so naturally that formed together and we were like, hey, we should probably start a band. And, uh, and I think it just kind of escalated from there. And then with that, the natural rooted energy of that in itself, as uh, you know, as like garage band as that sounds, just kept going and kept going. And then the uh, once we started seeing that people were really vibing with what we were doing, it, it got us kind of addicted in a way. So that's kind of, yeah. Now, now growing up, who were your musical heroes? Who inspired you to want to play the drums and do this? Uh, Stuart Copeland was definitely one. Uh, Steve Gadd, some of the classics. Uh, as far as this genre, Aaron Gillespie, uh, Mike Fuentes, uh, yeah, just basically hard-hitting, solid drummers. I don't want to make you jealous, but I'm hanging out with Stuart Copeland next Wednesday. He's coming to our music conference in LA. Well, you definitely made me jealous. <laughs> That's awesome. No, he's incredible. Yeah. You know, for, for a three-piece, man, at Police Rock, oh, yeah. it's oh. incredible stuff. Yes. You know, so now, coming out on the Warp Tour, you, you hear bands kind of tell you about it ahead of time, or you probably came out and saw a show in your own town before. Yeah. You know, what do you do to prepare for the intensity of, you know, always being on the run, right? little sleep, a lot of, lot of stages, non-stop music going on? It's insane, man. Like, I don't, I don't know if there's anything you can do to prepare yourself unless you want to, like, sleep in a desert and have people throw rocks at you every day for eight to nine yeah. hours. That maybe might help, but there's no amount of... I think like predetermined ideology you can have about this other than it's you're gonna sweat, you're gonna not sleep, you're gonna have to mingle, especially in our position where an up and coming band, and you're gonna have to be the very best version version of yourself every single day with no fucking excuse. Yeah. Period. But that's it. I mean to stand out of like seventy bands, yeah. you know. You can't phone it in, you, you, you can't stand in the back, man. You gotta you gotta step up. You gotta give it every day. Absolutely. You gotta come out here and do interviews, you know, and yeah. get the word out. You know, it's almost like kind of campaigning for office. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Now, and, how do you withstand the physical rigors of something like this? How do you pace yourself? Uh, honestly, like for the drives, I usually stretch before we play, and then on the drives, I drink a lot of uh, adult soda, <laughs> beers to get some <laughs> sleep, because I need a full night's sleep. You know. Uh, but during the day, I like to walk around with this guy, stretch a lot, uh, just try to stay as healthy as possible. That's so, beautiful. Yeah, besides That's the beer. Now, how's the creative process work for the band? How do the songs kind of come together? How do you kind of keep the ideas flowing? We uh, basically, we're all kind of like creative. We're all creative in the sense, but I'm like kind of a crazy creative. And so I hear noises, I hear things, and I like kind of really like, and I'll, I don't play an instrument, so I like to go to the guys and be like, hey, can you do this? Like, bing, 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 you know, weird stuff like that. But I, we kind of like, I like to write like a rapper in the sense of like, I'll have them write the song, complete it, and then I'll usually work on lyrics with Andrew with the beat or like over top of the song. So the creative process is we work together and no excuse. Like we don't like to do separate because the vibe's just not there. That's amazing. Now, as far as all that you've seen and all you've gone through, what do you advise people coming up today? Because, you know, a lot of them got stars in their eyes. They think it's all about partying and getting oh, yeah. rich and famous but we all know you got to do it for the love of it what, what do you school them on uh honestly don't put a timeline on anything 
because if you are, I mean, the way this industry works, it's basically, you can never time it. It's just basically luck, and if you work hard enough, things will happen, and it'll fall in place. If you have expectations, you're going to be disappointed. Exactly. So yeah. Do it just for the love of it. Do it, work hard, uh, stay persistent, and never give up. Yeah. yeah. How about you? I would say the same. Like, you can't, you can't think that you're better than one person, and that's, I think, in any form or fashion, with either in the music industry or not. I don't think that you should remind people of the things that they aren't. I think that you should just encourage others to be the best version of themselves, whether they be the fans of your band or they're just rock star ego assholes. Uh, I think you, all you can do is just beat yourself around them and be like, yeah, man, best of luck. Because at the end of the day, you only have yourself and you only have the, your brothers in the band and you only have the career that you set out for yourself. And I don't want to be one of those people who projected a life that wasn't the one that I worked hard and sweated for. So.